What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Oxar Formula. And uh today, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be going over the time that I was uh kicked out of church. So backstory, his mom is a very I wouldn't say like religious woman. Like you're probably thinking like a southern religious woman who's like you you could say, damn it, you know, around the woman that you're thinking and fucking she'll strangle you. No, no, no. She's just like a I don't I don't know how to explain like what kind of like religious person she is. Like she's like she believes in Jesus and shit, but it's like uh, or God, I should say, not just Jesus, but like, you know, God. But she's like a big like, you know, Jesus kind of kind of gal. And anyways, I believe this occurred on Easter. So, you know, Easter day, you know, my boy hits me up, he's like, Yo, like you want you what's what's the word you trying to hang out? I'm like, hell yeah, bro. I ain't doing nothing. Right? Mind you, he ain't telling me we were going to fucking church. Okay? So, you know, I'm expecting us to, you know, have a chill day. You know, play some video games. Maybe, uh, maybe get in, get, get into some illicit drug activity. A wink, wink. No, of course, we would never do that. That is, that is bad for you kids. Stay away from drugs. But, uh, anyways, moving on. So, you know, I did not expect us to, uh, be fucking going to church. So, I'm like, yeah, what are we gonna do? He's like, oh, you know, my mom's gonna pick you up. Like, we were just gonna chill. Boom. His mom pissed me up. His mom's like, did did he tell you we're going to church? I was like, that's fucking news to me, but sure. Obviously, I didn't say that at the time, because I'm a very respectful, polite, and, and loving child. Um... At that time, child of God. And, uh, but I was like, yeah, sure, let's go. So, mind you, it's me, his mom, uh, his little, uh, me, him, his mom, and his little brother. Now, his little brother is a fucking menace to society. And when I mean menace to society, boy, do I mean that little fucking kid is a gremlin, okay? So we pull up to we put we put we oh Jesus Christ we pull up to Sunday service, or or Easter service whatever it is it could it could have been Christmas too, because you'll see later in the story but like it could have been Christmas, but like I don't remember, you know the, I got a lot of stories that are in my brain that my brain can't fully function, but um, anyways you know we sit down it's like a normal service. You know, so far there's not a lot of people there. Uh, the seats are all kind of empty, but you know, there, there there's enough people that like you know, if shit's starting to go down, people are staring at you, all right? So uh, you know, all of a sudden it's like you know, please rise or some shit like that, like it's the national anthem. Um, I don't know if they do the national anthem at church. Um, I would assume not, uh, but they could. You you know, I, I wouldn't be against it. I'm assuming, like, if you were Jesus, would you stand for the, for the national anthem? Like, or, or do you think, like, maybe he gets waived for that? You know, that's what happens when, I, when I'm thinking about recording these videos. You know, it's it's 2 o'clock in the morning right now, almost 3 o'clock. And I'm thinking, like, this, would, would Jesus, what would Jesus do? You know, would Jesus stand? Anyways, uh, a little off topic there, but you know, they do like the, the please rise or no, that sounds like a, a school. Uh, yeah. Anyways. So fuck, I lost my drift score. So, you know, we're just chilling, you know, we're fucking following the rules. All of a sudden it starts to get like real serious. And I know that everyone's had, you know, that friend that you can't get real serious around and everything is just fucking hilarious. Okay, so mind you, there's probably like tw- there's probably like twelve total people on the service this day, and you know there's there's four of us, and uh, so we're we're sitting there, and uh, he's cracking a couple jokes, and I'm not gonna lie, those jokes they got me howling, you know, they got me cackling up a little bit. It, it, it's to the point where like I'm progressively I may urinate myself if it if it came to that, but you know. We're, we're just chilling. We're cackling. We're having a good time. You know, his, his mom is telling us to, you know, shut the fuck up in the Lord's house, which is like, I feel like that's pretty like, you know, anti what, what the Lord is about, according to some people. Like, you're, you're not supposed to say the Lord's name in vain, but then like you cuss like in a church. 
It's uh, is it seems like it's bad, like karma or like energy, you know, things that you know could strike you down. Like God, you know how they say, like God strike you like lightning or whatever the fuck they say, or like when it thunders out, they say he, he he's bowling and he fucking he hit a strike. Maybe I only heard that. But anyways, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm fucking cackling, I'm I'm wheezing, I'm like laughing so hard that I can't breathe at at what he's saying to me. All right, and that's already getting the attention of some people. You know, everyone's staring at us already because I'm fuck. I can't keep keep control of myself, and I'm 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 cracking a little jokes too because this fucking pastor guy is all fucking dressed up like a silly man, and he's like singing. Like who sings? You know what I mean? Like not. It, it wasn't like good singing. It was like it was like. Oh, Jesus, may I come? Like, it was like shit like that where it's like, Jesus, may I come? Like, what do you mean by that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was I was probably like 13 around the time. So, like, hearing someone say, Jesus, may I come was was pretty funny in, in, in my in my prepubescent brain. And, uh, yeah, so, so people are staring at us. And, uh, you know, don't forget that we have his little fucking demon brother with us. So he's just, he's just making it worse. You know, he's just like, Wah! not like too little, but like, you know, like little enough to like nag, you know, uh, he's being annoying, but like, he's like, Wah! so like, we're like, shut the fuck up, man. We're in church and you know, people staring, we, uh, we, we get to a point where like, they want everyone to come up on stage. So like on the stage set is, uh. Is like kind of like a last, like the Last Supper, as they would call it. Um, I guess it's like a uh, like Jesus ate his last meal with people who betrayed him, or uh, or, or or something along the lines of uh, you know that, where like he ate his last meal and he knew the people around him were were with him for the right reasons. And uh, as the, as as that was going down, there was there was plastic food. Okay, so mind you. Uh, plastic food, a, a little gremlin of, of a baby kid, a fucking demon child, and then two two teenagers who who think everything is funny. Uh, we 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 tell we tell the little brother we start coaching him. We're like we're like when everyone bows their head, like because we were reenacting the Last Supper, which already had me crying. Like who the fuck does that in their right mind? We told the little brother to go up on the table and grab and start eating the food because he was hungry, right? Like, the, like the little brother, of course, he was hungry because he's a little fucking demon child. Uh, so we're like, we're like, go, 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 go up and grab the food, blah blah blah, and start eating it. As as everyone is like bowing their heads in respect to to Jesus and God, this little fucking demon kid runs up to the table, grabs the plastic food, and starts trying to eat it, and and this ends terribly. Uh, because, uh, he gets angry at us and throws the, the plastic food at us. And when that happens, his mother freaks out and, uh, we get asked to leave. Yeah. So like, I never thought in my life I would have been kicked out of a church up until that point, but, uh, it happened and, uh, I got kicked out of a church. And, but, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Oxar Formula and, uh. I'm finally back on YouTube, bitch. 2024. It is, uh, it's my time to shine. It's my time to win. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you like, subscribe, or follow button like I'm on fucking kick. But, yeah, we're, we're making a YouTube video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like, comment your favorite part of the video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.